Welcome, dear friends, to the Gospel Reflection for the fifth Sunday of Lent. Our theme is Jesus, the Lord of Life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sister sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, this illness is not unto death, it is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified by means of it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, so when he heard that he was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go into Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were but now seeking to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. Thus he spoke, and then he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep but I go to awake him out of sleep. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he meant taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. And for your sake, I'm glad that I was not there, so that you may believe, but let us go to him. Thomas called the twin said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. Now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary sat in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, he who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying quietly, the teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she rose quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who were with her in the house consoling her saw Mary rise quickly and go out, they followed her, supposing that she was going to the tomb to weep there. Then Mary when she came where Jesus was and saw him, fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, 
he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled, and he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an order, for he has been dead for days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this on account of the people standing by, that they may believe that you have sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with bandages, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what he did, believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here is a strange family. There is no mention of parents, husbands, wives, or children, only brothers and sisters. By now, I am sure you realize that when John speaks of Mary and Martha, he really means us, the Christian community, where there are supposed to be only brothers and sisters. Why did Jesus delay and allow Lazarus to die? By letting Lazarus die, Jesus tells us that he did not come to prevent physical death. His task is not to break up the natural course of the life of man. The life has an end. It cannot last forever. However, Jesus has come to give us another life that will have no end. Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days. At the time, people believed that even after three days, a person was not completely dead. It was only on the fourth day that life was finally extinct. John wants us to know that Lazarus was really dead. Yet there were still many who denied resurrection at the time of Jesus. Jesus' teaching is very clear. Whoever believes him will never die even if he faces physical death. It is natural to weep when a beloved person dies. Mary wept, the Jews wept, Jesus wept. However, our weeping as believers of the resurrection of the dead is not to be a desperate one. We weep with hope of eternal life. Jesus invites us to believe that he is the resurrection and the life, the one who gives life to the dead. Do we believe that there is life after physical death? Let us pray. Lord of life, you who raised Lazarus from the dead, raise us from any kind of death we might have gone through. Bring to life our faith and our hopes. Even when we encounter fear and darkness, like Martha, teach us to believe but whatever you ask from God on our behalf, it will be granted. Amen.